Hi there, my name is Tom Hughes and I'm a senior lecturer in paramedic science at Swansea University. I'm uh, delighted to be able to speak to you today and I'll talk to you a little bit about the uh, BSc in paramedic science, um, which uh, uh, you've logged on uh, for information on. So um, I'd just like to show a couple of slides to you. I'm going to speak quite quickly um, and go through a few slides. Um, but if you have any further questions or need any more information, please go to the Swansea University paramedic science website uh, where you'll find um, a lot of this information and application details. So let me just share my screen with you and then I'll, uh, I'll start off uh, with a very quick little presentation. So for those of you who haven't seen it, this is Swansea, uh, beautiful area, the beautiful Gower heading off over here in the University Singleton campus is just here. So our team is, uh, it's big and it's strong. So we, our team leader is Nikki Williams. She's an associate professor um, and she's the paramedic science team leader. Then we've got Neil Hoare, who's a senior lecturer and the National Education Advisor for Paramedic Science in Wales. Um, I'm a senior lecturer and one of the programme directors for the EMT to Paramedic Conversion courses. Um, and Andy Davis is a senior lecturer and the programme director for the BSc. Mark Lewis then uh, is a lecturer and programme director of the DIP Diploma, uh, which is going to be coming to a, an end quite soon. Uh, Fen Sanders Lamb is a lecturer. We've got Mark Thomas, who's a lecturer as well, and, and it, one of the few independent prescribers in uh, in Wales, um, paramedic independent prescribers that is. And uh, then Mr. Paul Mays, who's the practice placement manager. Um, so there's some pictures of us all here. So Nikki, Neil, me, Andy, Mark, Ben. Mark Thomas, Paul Mays, and then you'll see at the bottom here, we've also got another three members of staff who have been confirmed, um, who are joining us imminently. Uh, one of those staff members will be fluent in Welsh. So, uh, the BSc Honours in Paramedic Science. We've got a long proven track record with teaching paramedics in, in, in Wales. Um, uh, we've been running a diploma in educa higher education since 2008. Uh, we've all um, experienced um, and lots of skills, and, but we also have visiting lecturers who come in to deliver specialist sessions. We were one of the first undergrad undergraduate degrees for paramedics in the UK and also the first BSc degrees for paramedics in the UK um, here at Swansea University. So the programme itself, we've created a great programme which is designed to be able to help learners not just become paramedics but to become paramedics who are able to apply critical and enhanced de decision making skills um, to an, a, a wide variety of different um, uh, reasons and scenarios. Um, we want you to be holistic in the way you think. So basically that means you leave no stone unturned. When you go to someone, you give them that, your full attention, you give them your full care, and you work out what's best for that patient. Um, the skills that we're going to teach you will equip you as a learner to be able to just uh, broaden your career and to continue to, to develop um, in a lifelong um, education. So, in the, in the university part of that side of things, you'll be studying in Singleton Campus, Swansea. That's right down here uh, in the beautiful Gower area. Um, and also on top of that, you will also do some, uh, some of your education with the Welsh Ambulance um, Service National Ambulance Training College. Uh, the placements we're going to send you on, I'll talk a little bit more about these in a second, but there will be ambulance stations throughout Wales, uh, non-emergency patient transport service, clinical contact centres, NHS Direct, you go to A&E, Conry Care Unit, theatres, peds, maternity placements. Um, you'll have uh, placements in palliative care and mental health placements. So an awesome education there. The course is structured like this. It's a three year BSc honours programme. In the first year, there's five modules. In the second year, there's five modules. And in the third year, there's four modules with a short dissertation at the end. Um, to apply, you need to apply directly to the university. So get on the website, tap in Swansea University Paramedic Science and bring up the page there and all this application um, information will be there. Uh, then um, after, if you meet the paper sort of sieve, then you'll uh, be offered interviews. Um, and then uh, if successful interview, we'll give you conditional offers. Uh, following that, you would need to then have an occupational health check at Swansea University um, and uh, have your own enhanced DBS check um, uh, as, as part of a matter of course that we uh, go through to make sure all of our students are safe uh, to work out with the public. Funding. So students, you will not receive a wage. However, you can self-fund if you'd like, or the Welsh Assembly Government will pay your entire tuition fees for the full course of the three years. 
but to do that, they ask for a two year holding clause, which basically means when you graduate, you agree to work within Wales in the healthcare industry within Wales for two years. If you leave before that two years, then you're eligible to pay back some of that bursary. Students can also get an NHS means tested bursary and a non means tested bursary. You can apply for student loans and any advice on this sort of thing is available on our website. So after year one, that's the equivalent of a certificate of higher education. After year two, that's equivalent of a diploma in higher education and health studies. But it's after year three that you get the full BSc honours and then the eligibility to apply for registration with HCPC, the Health and Care Professions Council. That's our paramedics governing body. On completion of the course, there's no guarantee of employment. We have to say that we're an education provider. We're not an employer. However, near 100% of our students gain employment as paramedics within six months of graduating. Usually that's entirely in the Welsh Ambulance Service. So the way we teach, we use lead lectures where we give a lot of information to a lot of people at one go. We also use um, small group work where we can split people up and practical skills teaching. We use IT uh, quite a bit and virtual learning environments. There's student-centered presentations, experiential learning and simulation. We try to to vary our teaching and delivery methods so it meets the needs of all of the learners some of the time, not just some of the learners all of the time. So you all should have something that you think, yeah, I love that. Yeah, great. Okay. Then, of course, we are going to send you out on placements and that's where you're going to do a lot of your learning as well through place, um, placements throughout Wales and in other settings that we've talked about. The way we assess you, again, is in a variety of different manners. Um, there's short answer exams, there's practical exams, there's uh, vivas, clinical reflections, essays, MCQs. So there's lots of different methods of assessment as well as teaching. In year one, the placements we're going to send you on, and this is the exciting bit, isn't it? Because this is generally why people want to be a paramedic, to get out there, to help. And so we're going to send you for one week with the uh, non-emergency patient transfer service. Then you'll have two days in our clinical contact centre, otherwise known as ambulance control. Um, and if you need it, if you need the C1 driver's licence, we'll um, pay for you to go on a course and get that as well. Uh, for the remaining time, I think it's 17 weeks and three days, you'll be on one of these, an ambulance or a rapid response vehicle, always with a specifically trained and allocated mentor who will look after you, supervise you, teach you and assess you. In year two, there's 21 weeks in total placements. 12 of these weeks will again be spent on emergency ambulances or rapid response vehicles, but the remaining nine weeks will be spent as follows. So we'll send you to theatres so, um, uh, so you can practice your advanced airway management techniques. We'll send you into coronary care unit, to the emergency department, to the maternity units, to paediatric environments, and you get a week in a palliative or end-of-life care community setting and a week in a palliative and end-of-life care hospice or inpatient setting. Also, you can have two weeks mental health placements. Do you know what? This is now the bigger part of our growing workload. It's not trauma anymore. Everyone, used to, everyone thinks paramedics have to go to trauma, but it's not. It's care of the elderly. It's, it's looking after everyone from, from the moment they're born until the moment they die. That whole entire age range and all of these different conditions. In year three, uh, we up the ante even more. So we want you to go out with advanced paramedic practitioners. These are paramedics who are already working within a Welsh Ambulance Service who have got an advanced level of clinical skill and knowledge. They normally rotate between going out and visiting people in amongst the community and then in clinical contact centre and then they go to GP surgeries. So we want to bolt you onto one of them so that you can see and experience all of that side of things to increase your knowledge and to give you some uh, idea of maybe the the direction that your career might want to go in the future. Um, you will be taught anywhere across Wales. So it's important you understand that. If you come and study with us in Swansea, we will place you anywhere in Wales. And we don't do that uh, for no reason. We do it for a very good reason. That's because if you look at the map here and you think about Barmouth up, up in this part, northwest Wales, if you lived near Barmouth or you're on an ambulance placement near Barmouth, the nearest hospital to you is potentially over an hour away. So if you have a time critical patient, you've got to learn to deal with that patient for over an hour. If you work in Cardiff or Swansea, you may be a matter of minutes away from a hospital. And so the level of care is slightly different. You may get more number of jobs um, uh, because in these, these areas you're traveling for greater distances, but you know the, the intensity is different. So what we want to do is send you to at least one urban placement, one semi-rural and one rural placement per year. 
in, in ambulance settings. Simulation, we used lots of different things. So this chap here is actually a mannequin, one of the most lifelike ones you can get nowadays, it's called a sim body. Our students go on major incident exercises where they get moulaged up, see uh, with lots of different wounds, so they can play casualties or attendees. Uh, we have virtual learning, um, uh, headsets where you can pick apart a body and you can literally pull it apart and look at it and turn things around and inspect the insides. Uh, we've got some amazing defibrillator software and um, we've even got an entire ward in, Sing in Swansea Singleton Hospital, which is our university ward. So in there, it's been made up to look like a proper ward, but there's also other stuff. There's a living room, there's um, a, a, a child um, suite. There's a um, adult critical care ward. So lots of different things in here so we can practice in the most lifelike settings when we're handing over to our nurses and handing over to midwives and, um, and assessing people in their own homes. On top of that we'll send you out to get experience actually hands-on extricating people from vehicles. We get the Welsh Ambulance Service Hazardous Area Response Team to come and show you their capabilities, show you their skill sets and show you their equipment so that when you have to deal with those sort of things in the future, you're ready for it. You know who to call, you know who who's back up and you can have some fun whilst you're doing it. You know the world is changing, right? It's changing now more than it has in in times of, of my uh, lifespan. This puts a massive strain on the NHS and on our ambulance services, but we can prepare you to be able to deal with this. We can equip you with the skills to be able to treat people, save lives, and be passionate about your career. So you can go out there and you can care for people and you can give something back. So if you are interested, please visit Swansea University website, um, log on to the paramedic science section, get in touch with us, put in an application form and we'll be glad to see you in the start of term. Thank you.